Hello, everybody. Welcome back to everybody's looking up there. Welcome back to the, to, uh, the awesome boys playing Minecraft featuring our new guest skeleton. You want to intro yourself? <laughs> he looked up Aww, as soon as they're shy. That's actually adorable. <laughs> they're shy. It's okay. He's new. He's just Let started his channel this year. Oh, my God. Let them in. I, he's coming for me. Uh, frankly, this is a toxic collaboration. I don't think we should. I, guys, I don't want to have him back. All right, Alexa, I think you you were going to do something. You're going to. Yeah, it's teaching te day. Teach us? No, oh, it's, it's teaching teachin day. day. It's teaching day. It's teaching uh, day. So we're in the, the new factory where we're going to have a bunch of machinery for things that we need. Uh, this wall right here is going to be like the wall of tiny machines. Rita, just straight up. I'm, I'm like I have no, no interest in uh, your no, I, I wanted to, I wanted to machines. I wanted to zip out so I could show your beautiful work on the on the building. Oh, look at you! Ain't, ain't that sweet? Um, yeah. that sounded very sarcastic when I said it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have a bunch of machines here. They do different things. Uh, but to start, we have like the most important one that we've been waiting for for forever. Uh, which is the pulverizer. It's this guy on the left. Woo! Um, also, so the wiring. You, you, you can see it, and I, I implore you to come down here and and take a take a gander at this. Uh, that goes all the way back to where we're generating the power. So I'm running that all the way down here. Um, if you then want power in somewhere, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to connect up to that line and run conduits down. Um, yeah. But anyway, the pulverizer, so this guy turns ore into dust, okay? Now, the awesome thing about uh, about these machines is they actually have, like, full automation built into them. So if you right-click on the pulverizer right now, I'm going to throw an iron ore inside of there. It's going to do the pulverizy thingy, and it will... it. So this will give two pulverized iron and then a chance at pulverized nickel uh each ore kind of has a chance we did not get any uh extra but that's okay Ugh. um now if you look to the right of the pulverizer we have a redstone furnace okay so now go back into the pulverizer and in on the right side there's like a gear click the gear and this is now how we control the inputs and outputs to this machine so the top is, uh, like the top, like the top box is the top of the pulverizer, uh, left, right, down, and then the one in the back right is the back side of it. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to pass the pulverized iron to the right because the redstone furnace is going to pick it up. So blue is input, orange is output. Okay. And then red and yellow, I'm going to be real. I don't know what the hell they do. Uh, so just don't do that. Um, <laughs> so now it's orange, it's orange for output, um, which is exactly what we want. But if you look in the redstone furnace, he's set up where the left side is output. So if someone goes into the redstone furnace and changes the left side to be input instead, which is blue, then the output from the pulverizer will go directly into the redstone furnace. And it just did it. There you go. So that is sick as heck. So now we have a couple of choices that we want to make. Um, my personal opinion is we should route then items out of the redstone furnace through the top of this and bring them over to a chest that sits like right here. And then everything that gets smelted just goes into that chest. Uh, we can do that by basically hooking up these item ducts. Uh, and these will run items through there. So now if we set the top to be an output on the redstone furnace, then it is going to send those out. Uh, and if we come over here momentarily, they're going to be in here. Uh, we can upgrade these uh, item ducts and we'll be able to make them not opaque. So we can actually see the stuff going through them. Ooh, um, but nice. they will eventually make it here. Are you sure? I am a hundred percent positive. They are they're there. So it, it is just slow as all hell, um, but that's okay. So now, like, th this is the keys of the kingdom. You, you got the item ducks that can transport items, and then you got machines that basically automate themselves. Um, 
now we don't have to use the smeltery to do ore processing because this is just doing it automatically. Um, and then what we can actually do, so if we make the top of the pulverizer an input, we could do something like that so that we can store ores in there. Or we can literally just, you know, wraps. This sounds insane, mm -hmm. but, you know, the main mine is sitting at your place. Yep. If we ran item ducts all the way from your mine to here, we could pipe the items directly from there into here. Sounds good. Which is cool. <laughs> so, so past this point, yeah. given the uh, given the existence of the uh, pulverizer and the red sun furnace, is there any reason to keep the smeltery? A hundred percent, because we still want it to make tools. Okay. And there are some recipes that just have to be done in there. Um, so probably easier to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we also have a weird issue where right now this item duck thinks that the uh, thinks that the hopper is a valid location to go um, and we don't want that to be the case. So if you make a crescent hammer, this is kind of a way for us to adjust various things with these machines. So shift right clicking allows you to just like yeet stuff off the wall, but then you can right click on these uh, little inputs and outputs to block them from doing things mm -hmm. uh, i've now realized that i have completely screwed that up so i'm going to replace it but we can block that from ever going back into the hopper yep and it's just it's just beautiful and it's doing all of our stuff cool is slowly nice. we won't even have to log on anymore exactly i, I can't wait <laughs> when, when will it when can we make a commentary generator yeah, automate Dude, the entire if series. I knew I would have been there a long time ago, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, uh, we have a sawmill here as well, um, which there is benefit to the sawmill in that it can turn logs into more, um, more planks than what you normally would. So just if you put a... Uh, full log into there it'll give six planks instead of four and then it'll also give you sawdust and then sawdust can be used in a bunch of recipes as well mm -hmm. um including making compressed sawdust which can then be smelted to make coal so there's like a ton of different ways for us to automate various things you know we make a tree farm which then we make something that auto creates compressed sawdust and then that sawdust we turn into charcoal and pretty soon we have infinite charcoal like there's a lot of routes to success there. So I, I implore you to search Sawmill, hit you on it, and then just go to town looking at all of the things that the Sawmill can do because mm -hmm. there's 101 pages of things the Sawmill can do. So oh, 151. It depends on your screen resolution. <laughs> so. Exposed. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's some nutty things in here like you can take anything made out of wood and yeet it in there basically so perfect glad to know uh nice. so past that point we have the machines that we still need to build ourselves yeah, yeah. so the induction smelter hell? is a big one that we're gonna want uh because that allows us to make hardened glass and hardened glass is needed to make uh the non-opaque item ducts uh, as well as better energy conduits and also batteries so that we can store this excess power that we're making. So once we get the induction smelter, uh, we we game in. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry to say that that's one of my tasks, so it's going to take us a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Alexa, can I remove this hopper and instead make it a chest? That'd be right. uh, put a chest on top of the hopper. Oh, uh, actually, I mean, we don't. Have uh, it's fine. To, yeah, you, that's you fine. Can, I, yeah, you can't do that. I can or I can't? No, you can. It'll absolutely okay, work. Can you right click the, uh, the thing yeah, for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Thank you, thank you. All right. And then I'll just deposit all of my copious amounts of ore into, oh, babe. into this. Yeah. yeah uh, that's appetite? Delicious. Is appetite. appetite the, the, so appetite is used to make fertilizer. Okay. Uh, which okay. we're going to want to do our uh, automated farm here in the next couple of episodes, probably. So okay. don't put that in there because we All can't. Right. I, at least I don't think we can. Grind I think we it. can experiment. 
Oh, dude, you can absolutely pulverize it, and it makes yeah, more actually. appetite. All right. Unless, well, uh, never mind. Uh, that's only if you have appetite or. I do not have appetite or. Yeah, you just have appetite. All right. Okay. Then, then no, it won't. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. I I think I'm gonna go see if I can try and get some more some more resources on the ground mm -hmm. because we still need we still need a heck of a lot more nickel before i can make my centrifugal centrifuge yep or whatever <laughs> whatever the heck it's called i think it's called a cen centrifugal vape i believe yeah. a centrifugal yeah. vape okay all right yeah. that sounds good to me uh exactly. i'll actually uh i'll be doing that as well orbital uh if you'd like to travel together i i, I would i would prefer no greater companion wow well damn <laughs> Alright, uh, who, so induction smelter, Raps, you want me to just take over on that? Uh, well, I, I was going down to get the ingredients for the induction smelter, because it requires invar, so we also need nickel. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, we uh, have some sitting ready to be pulverized. Uh. Hey, yeah, like three, like four. It's not, it's not big, not big nick. It's not a lot, but we, we'll still get some from it. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll check exactly how much invar I need. Right. Plus, uh, iron's next in the uh, hopper. Uh -huh. So that's going to be making nickel as well. Because it's a 10% chance, I think, to, to get a uh, pulverized nickel out of iron. So we're going to get, like, another six or so nickel. Mm-hmm. I only need uh, two invite ingots. So actually, if you have the ability to make those, so you know, two yeah. dust should work. Yeah, I'll I'll work on getting that invite. Sure, sure. All right. Uh, well, guess it wasn't meant to be, Rhapsody. Guess it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Was it not? Do we not need more materials? No, I I'm I'm down in the mines right now. I teleported down there. I'm hard at work. You have a uh, you have a waypoint under the ground. Yeah, I do. I realize that that might technically be a little bit of an exploit, but I mean, no, it's more I don't have the same waypoint, unfortunately, so I can't teleport to it. Uh, hey, hey, Rito, ex best what? friend, can you teleport Rhapsody <laughs> to me? <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, in just one second, I need to very very quickly make myself some more pickaxes. I will do no such thing. Ex so best friend. So I uh, I don't know what I deserve did to deserve this, uh, but okay. Uh, question for mining obsidian is my pickaxe says it's mining level diamond. Is that not enough for obsidian? That is not enough for obsidian. I would recommend just throwing. So go into the tool station, put your tool in, and then put a diamond in, and that will upgrade it to mine everything diamond related. Okay, I was under the impression that diamond level meant it functioned like a diamond level tool. Mm -hmm. mm. But apparently no. Yeah, that would have been my Maybe not. as well. At least take a peek at putting a diamond into I, it I and mean, see I'll, if it yeah. changes the level. I got no problem. I'll I, try actually, it. I actually don't know. Stealing diamonds. Uh I think we only have two. I uh, I've got I've got a bunch on me if anyone needs. Ooh. I have like probably have a bunch six. in the jail. So, is there any Still way of getting general. more diamonds per block? Uh, yeah, there is actually. Um, enchant, right? Yeah, so, I mean, you can enchant or you can make a tinker's tool that has the ability to do the same thing that the enchantment does. Mm -hmm. um, if you put, I want to say, lapis on your pickaxe, that puts luck on it. And then the higher the luck, the more crap you get when you mine gem-related things. Mm -hmm. So basically just find... We have a crap load of lapis. So just put your pickaxe into the thing if you like your pickaxe and are totally fine with using that one long-term because you probably don't want to commit to you know, some expensive... You know, adding a lot of lapis is pretty expensive. So if you you know, have a crappy pickaxe and don't want that pickaxe, then maybe don't add a lot of lapis to it. Okay. So, you know. Alexa, talk to me about, like, optimal pickaxe performance. Okay. What's, what's good? Um, 
Not much. How about you? Nah, yeah. <laughs> Never better. Um, By the way, it, it worked. It worked. Adding a diamond worked. There is an oh, obsidian cool. level. Diamond cool. level means mine up to diamonds. Okay. Just yeah, so the, the diamond modifier also adds uh, another 500 durability to the pickaxe, which is another 500 uh, uses. Um, so it's a pretty good modifier to throw on there. Um, so we'll, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk good, good stuff here. Orbital. Um, so iron has a durability of 204. Okay. Which that means that you get 204 uses out of that. Um, as opposed to something like bronze that we have a lot of, it has 430 durability. So almost double, actually more than double uh, what iron is. Uh, iron has a mining speed of 6. Bronze has a mining speed of 6.8, which is pretty good. Um, let's see. Copper has the ability to give you extra XP if you have a piece of something that has copper. I, I don't think that that's amazing. Lead prevents knockback from enemies. I don't think that's that great either. Uh, well, it, it kind of depends on what you're looking for from the tool. You know, do you want it to mine fast? Do you want it to have a lot of durability? Do you want it to hit people harder? Uh, do you want weird effects like magnetism? Yeah, that's what uh, that's what iron has. That's what I've got at the moment. Yeah. So that yeah, it attracts nearby yeah. things. Okay. Yeah. Why why is it why is it that bronze is higher tier than iron? I mean, there's a reason that the Bronze Age came before the Iron Age, and I don't think it's very respectful of history to, uh, to operate I don't, on I don't, I don't know how to reply to that, honestly. I, no, I'm, I'm glad that someone brought it up. I was taking offense on historical people's behalf as well. <laughs> I, I mean, just think of all of the people who tried for the longest time to work iron and uh, instead could only work bronze. I do nothing not but think him. about those people. <laughs> so just, just take a moment to pause and think. Everybody, moment of silence. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> I was wondering who's gonna break it. <laughs> um. So. Okay. Definitely me... a weird one here, but so, I'm, so I'm what... not sure we have a way to make steel in this pack. There must be. I don't know. I can't find one. But steel What's... looks pretty good as a uh, a tool thing. So that's that's what your that's what your your concrete recommendation is. Steel, if it's I mean, doable. I think that bronze is pretty good. I I, I am so detested at the I, idea yeah, of using bronze. I know bronze. you're against it. Um. <laughs> Prudentium is also really good, but I have no freaking clue how to make that. If we go to the nether, we can get, like, two of the best things in the nether. I'm mere moments away from having enough obsidian to make a portal. Okay. Where's the portal okay, going down? Okay. I have no freaking clue. <laughs> City planner? Uh, an idea? Rhapsody's, did... Rhapsody's house. Mine, as in the smeltery. The yeah. smeltery? All right. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, sure. I Any will... backup city planner ideas? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll, 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 sure. No, I'm no, I'm just... It's it's awful to have a portal in your house. That was the whole point, but it's... Oh, it's is right. it? I, I don't know. I'm fine with it. I mean, especially considering it would be kind of adjacent the uh, whole mining expeditions. It kind of seems... Fitting. It makes, like, the most annoying noise if you stand near it mm. for a long Truly. time truly does. So, we could put it really, really close to the smeltery, like close but outside. No, I, I, look, I, I, that, that <gasps> joke is dead. It, you know? it, it can be built into the, uh, so you see the, the landing pad that now exists for the smeltery. Here. Yeah, it can Here, be come, built uh, into it's, that. It's your, it's your home. I want to come, I'll, I'll give you the tools. You put it where you think looks most appropriate for you. Uh, sure. I'll give you the I'm the just going to set myself a waypoint so that I can teleport back to this. Oh, you're underground. Yes. I couldn't tell based on the mini map. Okay. Waypoint. All right. I'm going to make a suggestion. Mm. Rito, grab an extra couple of obsidian. I, um, I, how many do you need to make a portal? Uh, Ten. Eight? Nine? Okay. Well, I have 12. No. Okay. okay. 
that that's probably fine because if we make a pickaxe out of what with an obsidian head then we'll be able to mine the ores we need in the nether to make really really good stuff okay and then we'll just start making our tools out of that because it's good i like good things yeah i'm i'm intrigued by steel now alexa you've got me yeah steel awesome. is interesting but i don't know how to make it i think pig iron is another really interesting one um when you hit things it'll give you bacon but pig <laughs> iron is a pain in the ass to make so I really, I night like slime the has idea insanely good durability just a little bit slower speed but there's ways to make your tool faster with uh um modifiers Let's see, night slime is iron, slime, and stone in the smeltery. Okay. Sorry, what was that? I didn't I wasn't even listening. I I <laughs> would let let's let's make an obsidian pickaxe. Go to the nether, get get good uh good ores in the nether, mm, and then okay. We'll just all make tools out of good ores. So are we having like a, a Wholesome Boys on tour? In I think nether? it might be a Wholesome Boys adventure. Nether edition. Hell yes. So why did the... Wait, why did this not work? Uh, uh, you gotta light on fire. Yeah, that's that's what oh, I'm over cool. here building. Flint and steel, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did. It's been a long time. Yo, that looks like oh. super sick there. Yeah, yeah it, looks, it really does look it like a, so a plane. In, a plane is gonna like come from hell. <laughs> like a, a demonic, <laughs> demonic half pig, half plane is gonna come through that portal. It's so good. Uh, hey, orbital. See you in hell, yeah. guys. Do you wanna? Literally. Do you yeah. wanna come catch that? Can, can I? Can I hell? ask for a friendly teleport, please? <laughs> yeah. Here. Thank Ooh. You. Good boys, go to hell. I uh, just right outside. Quickly need Thanks. to make myself some sort of a weapon. Thanks. Yeah, I yeah, I'm I'm making sure that mine uh, is. Whilst I've got you here, Alexa, how do I how do I repair a pickaxe? Uh you got to go into the uh, you got to yeah, you got to go into the tool station. We should honestly, pardon me. <laughs> it's it was an efficiency play. Ah, all right. Um, <laughs> come, look, I'm not gonna ask questions, man. Um, but you did though. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's totally. <laughs> and Don't he learned his lessons. <laughs> but whatever you made the pickaxe head or the the like main bit of your tool out of, so the pickaxe head or the axe head or something like yeah. that. Um, yeah. you just put your tool into the tool station and then that material into the thing with it, and it'll just repair it. Right. All right. I'm gonna. We're also going to want to. Uh, make a tool forge which will allow us to make some better tools um and we'll probably yo we spawned in another fortress yeah is this good it's, or bad it's, it's amazing it's you great know, oh it's horrible it's terrible there's stuff that wants to kill me uh-huh ah uh, nobody wanted to kill me why'd you what the... oh my god dude what are you doing what the heck minecraft dungeons part one <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to our first uh, Let's Play uh, Early Look. We did it. Jesus. I blocked off that entrance because there's a bunch of boys that are trying to shoot flamey things at me. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is nether brick here though, so. Yeah, I got it. I got quite a bit here. Alright, cool. Man, you really made this place ugly. I mean... That's, that dirt. It is kind of horrible. Sorry, Alexa, how do I do this? I can't repair it. <laughs> I, I've got the tool in the middle, I got the bronze ingot at the top, and it just... Are you repair. sure you made... Didn't you say you made your tool out of iron? Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, I stole a bronze pickaxe, and now I'm trying to repair that one. Well, that's just a vanilla pickaxe, man. You can't repair that. Oh, my goodness. So you like, <laughs> confess that I stole it? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I like, mean... I stole, I stole all my pickaxes, too, and I confessed that long ago. Yo, what the hell is this? Welcome to the Thieving Brotherhood. Yo, 
Oh, I also forgot that we're trying to make a obsidian pickaxe. Do you have obsidian still, uh, Rito? I got, I got two obsidian now. Can I steal two of your obsidian? Yo, sure. saddle. We can ride Iron orbital. horse armor. <laughs> what now? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Hi, orbital. Such just, an orbital way of doing that. <laughs> just breaking through the wall. <laughs> breaking through the wall. Terrifying. Can I one have them, uh, googly, them one, big googly eyes? One obsidian boy. Sure. Orbital, move. Thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you. X best friend orbital. Okay, I'm gonna What's go make oh. a new pickaxe. Oh, there's some uh, there's some blazes in here. Yeah, they're yeah. mean. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Take them out. Do it. Oh. So, uh, that. fair. Fair warning, there are ores in the nether. Uh, one is blue, one is orange-ish. Those are what we're looking for, but only this obsidian pickaxe that I'm making can actually get it. Cool. So. If you'd uh, ah, if you'd crap, managed I'm... to say that like 10 seconds earlier, I would have avoided destroying it. <laughs> well. 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 Uh, I just, I know where a bunch is at the absolute least. All right, cool. Uh, Rito, I need more obsidian, so I'm coming back. I only have one. Oh. Yeah, I just need two. Oh, okay, okay. So it works out well. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, no. Stop moving. There you go. Thanks. Whoop. <laughs> You're having a rough go. Watch it. You it's, uh, it's every day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew I needed to hear that. Feels good. <laughs> Feels real good. Yeah, I mean, I wish I wasn't, like, half dead when I entered hell. Mm. You know? Yeah, you know. That probably would have helped. That's rough go. You have a logical contradiction you've got there. Yeah. Well, I mean, doesn't everybody wish they were only half dead when they entered hell? Less than half dead when they entered hell? So. I mean, I don't know. I want to be fully dead if I'm going to be in hell. Yeah. Oh, Same come here. on. No. All right, I got the world's slowest obsidian oh. pickaxe ever, but we can mine those uh, ores. Perfect. Hey guys, did you know that you, you can't put water down in the nether? Yeah, you also can't Correct. sleep. It if you sleep, you explode. Ooh. <laughs> you can try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Rhapsody. <laughs> Yo. If I were ores that I said we want, where would mm -hmm. I be? I would say that it's probably a good idea. To just drop. Just drop. So, yeah, is it this bit? Yeah, okay. Oh, we have freaking, we can uh, fall from the sky and be fine boots. I forgot. Yeah, yeah I love we can fall from the sky and be fine boots. <laughs> All right, I have one of the special ore, which is good. Now we need more. Uh, I believe there's more over in the other direction. That pigman will only fight us if we fight them first, right? Yeah, don't hit him, please. Okay. No, you gotta, you gotta come in with the power play. <laughs> <laughs> Show him who's boss from the outset. Exactly. Orbital of the steel chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glowstone is another thing that we should probably grab some of. It, it yeah. ends up being used in recipes a lot. Oh, there is a ton of Ardite. Let's go. You know this uh, this infernal essence? Mm. No, yeah. inferium essence. Is it? What is it actually useful for? Yeah, no freaking clue, dude. So, I wish Ooh. I did, but I don't got the slightest idea. I did not know there's a grassy biome in uh, the Nether here. Uh, probably modded, but ah. I'm gonna yeah. go hang out there. Nice. So this, uh, the blue ore, I can't break without the obsidian? Blue, yeah. You need my pick. Well, there's some oh. here if you, if it's important enough to come get it. Yeah, it is. I also just found a bunch. If I were, you're up there, okay. A mag, I've got magma See, blocks? It's a magma block. This is the ultimate Black choice. Mag. This pig man has a hat I want. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does, he, does it make them angry against all of us? I'll That's understand. No. It's just that one. 
<laughs> I, I will understand if you decide to hit him. Plus, we're like basically at time on the episode, so at this point, YOLO, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's, you know, I love knowledge, pursuit of knowledge. Let me know if everybody gets uh, angry pigs. Oh, dude, there are some coming from miles away. It's okay. You. This is my last stand. It's so good. Oh, I have the best angle, too. I will never die. Dual wielding swords and pickaxes. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. It's beautiful. Oh. You know, the fact that Orbital somehow managed to die before you, Rito, is... Uh... Bring it, babies. It's impressive. Yeah, it's remarkable. Well done, Alexa. Well, toss me some food. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I, have I got more. <laughs> ten rotten flesh. Bring it. I'll eat them all before I take down twelve more, and then I'll end the episode. <laughs> I need more blood on my hands. <laughs> this this episode doesn't end until I do. Reno the Berserker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just jumped in lava. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> There's links in the description for everything Yo, you want and more. This place is sick. We'll Sorry. find out how sick it is uh, next time on Mine Minecraft. <laughs> bye, bye, everybody. Adios. Bye. Bye.